Hi there, welcome to the all new episode of Phone Rat Talk. I am Amit and here is Karthik and let's get started with the trending news of the day. Starting off with the Mi Mix smartphone which uh, our team members actually to, uh, <laughs> broke, I mean shattered the display to some extent. Uh, it looks like Meizu is actually you know kind of uh, bringing this concept to reality with a smartphone with 100% screen to body ratio. Uh, so technically with a 93.1 right on yeah. the Mi Mix, uh, Mix we were able to break the device within a few hours of getting into the office i'm quite sure that the 100% screen to body ratio device would be more fragile unless they come with a motorola kind of shatterproof technology or a gorilla glass 4 or something like that but that said uh, we are looking forward to what's coming up from Meizu which is coming a day before uh, christmas. the christmas that's on december 24th this has come out to be a leak from china so we have not much information on uh, what's actually going to come out but these photos are really mind boggling and uh, this is something which we are actually looking forward to moving on let's move on to the news from india yeah so we have another news from uh, blackberry this time so basically they have launched two new smartphones in india these are basically the same one which they launched in the US, which is the DTEK 50 and DTEK 60. So Aren't these the ones which were launched as the most secured yeah, smartphones exactly. and then they failed? Yeah, or something. they failed miserably. But that's what we have here. So these the, the, these smartphones, they comes with the special application for the security. They encrypt all your data and app and everything. That's what we have here. In terms of specifications, uh, the DTEK 60 is actually more of premium smartphone. 50 comes with the very basic specification, 617 processor and all that stuff. So you can check the links for all the detailed specifications. And as far as pricing is concerned, the DTEK 50 is actually priced at 21,999 and the DTEK 60 is priced at 46,000 which is the premium range here. So yeah, that's what we have here from Blackberry. I'm quite confused. Who would buy a Blackberry now at a yeah. price of 46,000 so. uh, wherein the security feature itself was flawed? Isn't, yeah, flawed. So. Anyway, nonetheless, let's move on to a very interesting news. Uh, we have just started reviewing the uh, Xiaomi's Mi robot which I picked it up from a store in China and uh, we have it with us in the, in the coming days once we have some time we will be doing more videos around that but talking about one of the you know most advanced technologies in uh, vacuum cleaning uh, Dyson had launched a 360i uh, vacuum cleaning uh, product which was launched I think last year and it's priced more than a thousand dollars I mean and uh, they are just uh, looking into they have just sent a press release that they are going to come into India uh, launching not just their air, uh, vacuum cleaners but also the heaters and also the air quality uh, air purifiers actually so most of their lineup would be launching in India I'm quite surprised who would be actually buying again talk, talking about the technology it's one of the best no doubt about that but priced at more than a thousand dollars I mean seventy thousand rupees without any taxes which means that almost a lakh rupees yeah, for, a vacuum cleaner. Uh, for a vacuum clinic uh, device uh, nonetheless i mean uh, the idea is good but i'm not sure who, how many of yeah. those units would be sold in india but that said i mean dyson is coming to india so if you are one of those who have been looking forward to import those products in india then stay tuned in the coming few months itself we would be having an official confirmation from the brand Moving on to the next news is uh, again from a Chinese brand called as Lenovo. Yeah, so what we have essentially here is basically the Lenovo's uh, ZUK lineup of smartphones. A couple of weeks back we saw the new smartphone has been listed on TNR certification that was the Z2151. And now according to the new listing we have uh, an official name for the smartphone which is supposed to be the Z ZUK Edge. Okay. So probably it will come with an edge display or something that is not mentioned as of now. We have a couple of set of specification. It is supposed to be com uh, coming with a Snapdragon 821 processor, 4GB of RAM and all that. You can check the links for more detailed specifications. As of now, we don't have any information about the pricing or availability of this. But so it's more like a successor to the ZUK Z yeah. Z2, Z2 which is now. in India. Again, in India, they don't have the ZUK branding. It's Lenovo Z2. Yeah, Z2. And uh, they don't want much of a confusion. And uh, the ZUK has been removed. In China, the ZUK branding is still going on. It's mm -hmm. separate lineup itself. And uh, this phone should be coming out pr probably before the year ends. And then following which we would be seeing most of the Lenovo smartphones moving under the Motorola's yeah. uh, branding itself and uh, we would be seeing uh, Moto Z2 probably Z3 or Moto Z UK Edge we don't know something, yeah. but that's something like that would be happening so these were the four news of the day stay tuned for the next video which comes out tomorrow at 6 p.m. so we do a daily video at 6 p.m. that's Funra talk and at the end we, of the week we have the uh, weekend Q&A with team Founder, wherein me, Karthik and uh, Teja would be answering all your questions. So if you have any queries, stay tuned for our, joining our weekend Q&A. That's it for now. Stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.